Hi folks, how you doing? It's late January. It's time to start getting back out into the garden. Um, I've seen a couple of videos online about people deadheading plants and cleaning up plants and you know, while a lot of them look well, there's a few little mistakes. To get into the plant, they're deadheading from here. This is a no-no really because you're leaving an open wound which is allowing botrytis and other fungal spores to settle on and work its way down. If you come around and if you look at this for example, you can see where there was a stem. There was a few stems but I removed them. You can see where the infection spread down. It eventually got into the stem of the plant, killing out the whole stem. Which, you know, if you get a bad infection it'll kill out the whole plant. Um, something like this is quite simple. You just take it back off at a joint. Just as tight as you can. Um, pinty second here comes in handy for it. Um, but in relation to deadheading, most plants have natural break points, okay? So let's say this stem that I've just done, okay? I don't dare leave an open wound. Now, if I take it at the bottom, where it's supposed to go from, it's a natural break point, okay? This, this will seal over, it'll dry out, it'll scab up, for want of better words, and the plant will be protected in about an hour or two's time. So there's less chance of fungal infection, stuff like that. Now, if you continue doing them all, likewise, Get rid of this. If you like, take them all thing. Very quickly, you can make a dull-looking plant look a lot fresher, a bit more alive, a bit more as if spring's coming. You know, we, we just keep removing these. Where we get to, you know, dead pieces. You can see where it's shriveled up. It's shriveled up. But then when you come back to here, it's thick and fleshy. So just above it, remove. Okay, the plant will re-sprout from close to this area from one of the leaf nodes. Then moving over here, same principle, we see where it's all shrivelly, and then it becomes solid, becomes thick and fleshy. So we'll cut just above that, just for now. Um, and then also, if you look, there's natural seal points on the stem. You can see where there used to be leaves attached at one point. So really, you need to be cutting just above a leaf joint. You know, just keep doing it till you remove a lot of the raw. Now, as you can see, this worked down, and we can actually see there now, it's moving the whole stem, so this whole section is actually gone. And all that started from, basically, the plant sitting out over winter, infection getting in, but if you want to prevent infection, then, under no circumstances, deadhead like this. Remove the whole stem back down, just break on point. This applies to many, many house plants and garden plants. It doesn't matter whether it's a little plant like this, or whether it's a big shrub, one and a half meters high it really doesn't you know but as I said to get it back to life get it looking good just takes a couple of minutes just get rid of that and we can clean them up and get them back to normal As you can see, a couple of moments spent on the plant and it starts looking a bit fresher as if it's ready for spring and it's ready to do its thing as the summer comes in. I just take this one. You know, the reason for taking all this off is because if the plant gets wet, it allows the fungus, as I say, the main one is botrytis. It allows it to settle in, get in through a cut, get in through a bruise, and it, it will, it will over time take the plant out. Um, so the secret is keep them clean, keep air moving through them. If you see anything fading, deadhead the plant from its natural break points, and just remove all leaves, all flowers, keep air circulating through it. If you see any stems, any problems, just remove it, you know? And basically that's it. That's it for a nutshell. Now, as, as spring comes in, we'll increase watering this. Like it hasn't been watered for several months, because of winter, it helps to overwinter them. But we'll increase watering, and then after two or three waterings, we'll start on a feed solution. And 
I'll show you the plant again later in a couple of months time. It'll be big, it'll be full, it'll be a head of red flowers. So till then, toodles, bye bye.